Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. What it do? What's popping? Hola, como estas? Buenos noches, buenos dias. Buenos dias, buenos tardes. Whatever time of day it is, you already know the drill. Welcome back. Make sure to hit that like, comment, and that subscribe button. And make sure to like this video because we already know. You already know. We finna get into it. Now, today is just a video. I'm not gonna do too much talking about how I installed this lace frontal wig. I actually got this um, unit, so the frontal and bundles from the hair shop. And you know, I mean, the lace was I like it was fine. But yeah, we will. So we are jumping straight into this video. First things first, I'm gonna put the, the wig <laughs> on the mannequin head and spray it with Got To Be Spray. The reason I do this is just to help protect the lace essentially when I start dyeing it. Here you see me dancing and then I just got injured. Now, if you didn't really clock what happened, when the wig dropped, one of the pins that was securing it to the mannequin head basically stabbed me. And here you just see me in complete and utter disbelief because I was like, damn, did that really just happen? Anyway, moving back on to the video. Now I'm just prepping um, myself and prepping the workspace. I'm essentially gonna start dyeing the wig, which you'll see me kind of run through. Um, it's not a very detailed, I suppose, view of me dyeing. If you'd like a more detailed video of me dyeing a wig with a permanent dye because I know there's like a lot of videos of watercoloring then let me know and I'll be happy to deliver on that but I wasn't really sure if you wanted to see that so I kind of did a brief tutorial of that which you'll see Hey, it's me again. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, now you just see me sectioning the hair and actually dyeing the wig. Um, when I get towards the lace, I'll kind of explain what it is I do here. But here, making goes man. And I have no fear. Can you not see me? I'm even dying right next to my white wool. If my dad ever watches this video, he's going to scream. <laughs> and yeah, I didn't even have anything on the floor. Like I was really playing with fire. But yeah, now we're approaching the lace or the lace frontal, should I say. So what I tend to do is try and section the hair and start coating um, a few inches down because sometimes especially if the dye is runny it can spread and sometimes that's how it then seeps onto the lace so I try and start maybe I'd say even two sometimes five inches down from the roots and then kind of work my way up with the remaining dye that's on the hair moving on to the installation um so the first things first is i just put the wig on my head i line it up and see if i'm happy with the positioning kind of went over this in my get to know me video you'll see me kind of doing the same step if you watch that video and you know some of these lace frontals i don't know who they make their headlines for but it's not us it's not me it's not me so i'm just customizing my headline again i did plug it a little bit off camera and i don't do too much plucking like I don't go crazy because my hairline is not that crazy <laughs> but anyway to each their own yeah I'm just kind of carving out some of the excess hair and plucking just so that it doesn't look as dense and looks slightly more natural um, so that's what you'll see me doing here and I'll come back when I've moved on to the next step now I'm not sure if you guys noticed something here but I started parting my hair with scissors now little backstory i was in a complete and utter rush i don't even know what time it was it was anywhere between 8 and 10 p.m and i was meant to be going out with my cousin um and i was just running running super late like <laughs> even hear the panic i even said running running chai and i could not find like half of my materials so i ended up using a scissors for which it just was it was just not working out okay it was just not working out Eventually I found a comb, but yeah, I know, wild, right? After that, um, next step is really to just make, hey, English. English is always fighting me, I'm, I'm tired. Anyways, now you just wanna match the lace to your skin. You can do that using your foundation, a powder, a lace tint. I haven't really tried lace tints and that's all very, very overdue. Like I really do need to try that, but I just, I'm a simple girl, babe, man. I just stick to what I know. So 
sorry about that. Remember I told y'all I was going out and obviously my cousin was like, where the heck are you? Anyways, now you just see me kind of creating a parting by my ear, um, which I will then use to cut off. That didn't make sense. Let me explain that again. So here you see me making a part just above my ear. Um, once I've lined up that part, I'm then going to go in between that and cut the gap um, from the lace to my ear. Basically cutting off my ear flap. Chai! <laughs> cutting off my ear tabs. Yeah, that's what they usually say. Cutting off my ear tabs. It's so interesting, isn't it? Doing something and then having to kind of explain it. Um, it's, it's just like, I can't, I can't get the words. But yeah, take your time with this. Obviously, as you can see, this video is sped up. But there is no need to rush because once you, you get it wrong, you get it wrong. Like there's no kind of going back or undoing it. Small little things can obviously be repaired, but generally speaking, no. Anyway, watch me serve. Serve. What's up? Hello, serve. Uh, mm. Anyways, now I'm about to start prepping my skin. I should have actually cleaned it with rubbing alcohol, but I told you I was a mess. I was just rushing all over the gaff what i tend to do though before i do apply my ghost bond is just kind of make little seizures or sections in the lace so that it's easier to flip because when you're now having to flip a whole little hat or face covering it's just not easy i mean i know it's not a hat or face covering but you get the gist and then you just go in with your got to be i create small dots and then spread it over the space of like two centimeters of my forehead if that makes any sense at all and just kind of wait until that dries clear ish and add a second layer i don't tend to wear any more than two layers i don't even keep my wigs on for more than like two days at a time and yeah a lot was going on but anyways i'm gonna just stop the recording here because i'm rambling on and you can just kind of watch the process and i'll come back when needed So here I flip the lace back down and then I press the lace into my skin with the comb. So essentially I'm combing the, the hair back but also pressing the lace down um, just so it really kind of melts into my skin. And then once I've done that I move on to either side and begin that same process of laying the glue, letting it dry and then pressing it down again. You guys, did you just see what had happened? My razor decided to move a little faster than I had anticipated. Rude. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> here you just see me cutting the lace. Now take your time with this. As I say, this video is sped up, but you really want to just be gentle and delicate. Sometimes you might not even cut off the lace exactly how you want to, but that's fine. Whew, you see, Whew, it's okay, it's okay. You just go back in and cut off um, and adjust it really like there's no perfect way to cut this but I would always recommend cutting in a very jagged way so that you don't have a strict and straight line of de demarcation which becomes very obvious to see from where the sculpt I mean the fake sculpt as in that lace and your skin meet 
um, and sometimes as well with the glue it is also possible that you're not always going to get it stuck down so there might be little bits that you've missed that's fine you can always go back in and just touch that up as you can see me doing now Now I'm just laying my elastic band over that lace to really just help it dry and melt in. This is my favorite part. This is how I know like I'm halfway through, period. Um, and then this is when I begin to apply the wax stick on my hair, definitely at the top, go over it with the hot comb and begin the styling process. I am gonna speed this part up because um, I'm sure it'll be pretty boring for you to see me constantly straightening with my hair. Um, and I was also quite indecisive as to how I was styling it because I was pressed for time and decided to just go back in at the end and just flick it a little and have a little curl going on. Onto my next favorite part, removing that elastic band. Sometimes it'd be so tight and it'd be giving you a little headache. And also this is the ultimate and determining moment where you see whether or not the wig install was a fail or whether it was a success. Now, for me, I think this was a success, but the lace was not that great. So anyway, we move. There are things that you can obviously do to help, um, such as adding concealer to your part to make it look a bit more defined, adding a bit more foundation to the lace in order to help it blend more and et cetera, et cetera, which you'll see me doing here. Um, so keep watching and I'll be back. Here's one of my little tips for y'all. When that lace be acting, I mostly save this for 613 or like really, really light laces. But when that lace be acting and it doesn't wanna just blend and behave, I go in with some got to be spray um, and just let that dry. And I don't know, it's kind of like magic. It just seems to really melt that lace in a way that I don't even know, but it works. And here, I, I don't know what was going on with the straightener. As you saw, it just slid right off my hand. But anyways, moving on now the baby hairs personally i'm not the biggest fan of baby hairs the only time you really see me do baby hairs is if my lace is acting or if i'm wearing curly hair and it's been a minute so i might do that next yeah i might do that next And here is the finished look, you guys. Would you believe me if I said I didn't even make out? All this rushing for nothing. But yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me how you thought I did. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, tell me what styles you'd like to see on me next because I'm so plain Jane, I really stick to the same thing. I'm trying to switch it up a little, you know? But yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.